want to make the big bucks? I'm getting Bosley. Two lessons and a homo. I guess. <laughs> Christmas is my favorite time, and so I thought um, we'd put up the tree, and uh, we had to get a new tree because we couldn't find the old white tree, um, so we went and got a green tree this year. So the boys helped with the tree a little bit. They, um, I don't know what they did. Did they put the, they put the little extra pieces, they were shoving them in the branches when I was putting the branches on, they were put, putting in the other branches and stuff, but... Um, they liked it, I think. Uh, they helped fluff a little bit. Um, yeah. What? Alright, so I was kind of grumpy the night we put up the tree and stuff. I really don't know why. But Macy was like yelling at me all night to like, come and get involved, come help us. And I was like, how many people does it take to put up a tree? So, I kind of was being pissy. But I fluffed the branches. It's all like fun dancing with Dorothy the Dinosaur. Hey, Dorothy. Hey, Dorothy. But anyway, they got to put in ornaments up, and it was really awesome because, like, they let the, the ornaments be on the tree for like 10 minutes, and then by the, I don't know, by Christmas, I'd say, or not, or before Christmas, the ornaments were like, only on the top half of the tree and the bottom half was like completely jacked up. <laughs> like there were no ornaments. Pretty! Kato, what do you think? Oh my god, I can't wait for Christmas! I'm totally stoked! Hey boys, look at this. We're gonna put the Are star on the star. Let's Star. You want to see? You want to see the star? Are you ready? Okay, Caden, look. Look, One. watch. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> One. Star. Pretty star. Do you like it? Oh. Gino Bell. Oh. <laughs> so, um, we wanted to take the boys to go do something Christmassy. Scarf action! <laughs> I got a scarf, and she has Argyle. Um, and I got an email at work that, that said that the Manitou Park had like a light show kind of a thing, Christmas lights and stuff, and so it was at their conservatory. So we were when we were leaving to go to the conservatory, like Lisa like jetted off. I don't see her. Do you see her? No, I think we're gonna be fucking lost! Oh my god. My pocket is vibrating. I think she's calling me. Will you call her from your phone? So like, once again, we have lost her. Eventually we caught up to her, and when we finally caught up to her, she got lost. Again. <laughs> Where are we, Macy? I have no fucking clue. Hmm. Huh. Little joyride. So we were driving through like this residential area. And I think we're I think we're seriously lost. <clears throat> then we finally found the place. Walking. Gotta find parking. Oh. <sighs> <laughs> It was just like a couple greenhouses put together and they decorate or light up all the stuff that they grow in there or something like that. But it was really freaking cool. It stinks in here. Like what? Like moldy butt. <laughs> One 
One thing I did notice, though, is that it was filled with a lot of senior citizens. I don't know if that's just what you do when you get to that age. <laughs> Go watch Lit Up. Plants. Plants. But there were a lot. It was really cool. <laughs> I like old people. And so this may seem like I got attacked by the aloe, this ginormous aloe vera plant. It was probably just me though, because I touched it and then I just got jabbed in the finger. It was, it was painful, but yeah. I was squeezing, I was like, where's the aloe? And I was like, maybe it's in the bottom, so I went to squeeze that at the bottom part, and then it stabbed me. And Gail laughed at me. Um, the boys, like, I think they were just, like, amazed with all the lights and stuff. They were just, wow. Since I was leaving to go to North Carolina to, for, to stay with my family for Christmas, we had a little pre-Christmas no, thing Shay. with me yeah, and everyone before. I left, and so I got a bunch of really cool stuff. Shay, man. Yeah, for presents. So we decided, um, you know, we couldn't figure out what we were going to get Kyle, and so um, where we work, we work with developmentally delayed individuals. <laughs> all the clients of my work made this. They have all sorts of uh, things for them to do, like work areas and stuff, and they have a pottery shop, and so um, we decided that since Kyle was going to be on his own one of these days, um, he'd need stuff to start start his life, and it was really cool, and it, was, it meant something, so I'm glad that we, we had that done for him. I'm, I hope that everyone liked the gifts that I got them, but I was poor, so I just had to do what I could do. Right here. Oh, good job. Yep, this is the only time you get to rip paper. <laughs> Yeah, crackers! <laughs> crackers! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yay! So Kyle got the boys these awesome Mr. Potato Head things from Toy Story. Like the, the, the real one from the movie. And <clears throat> at first I think the boys were really excited when they opened it. But then when we pulled them out of the boxes, they got like really scared of them. And they wouldn't even look at them, and they wouldn't even stand near them. Like, when we put them towards them, they would like back away. It was hilarious. Oh! And Kyle got me the coolest gloves ever. Because I couldn't make my iPhone work with my gloves on it. Well, my hand was cold. I was like, this sucks. And I was like, why don't they make gloves with the little finger thing you can do the phone, right? Yeah, so I opened my present and he got me close with the little finger thing. <laughs> and it works. <laughs> Touchless touch screen. <gasps> it's for my phone. <laughs> so I don't have okay. to have one glove. Give grandma. It's for grandma. <laughs> That's from all of us. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. Kyle.